Hello, welcome back. Today we've got a few quick stops to make before we get to the magnificent chain of rocks bridge which crosses the Mississippi River. That's where travelers on Route 66 would cross over from Illinois to Missouri. So let's get started. We leave Litchfield and head to Mount Olive. In the late 19th and early 20th century, Southern Illinois was coal country. As we come into Mount Olive, we arrive at Soulsby Service Station, built in 1926 by Henry Soulsby, after an injury kept him from returning to the coal fields. As we discussed in a previous episode, gas stations at the time were built to look like little houses or cottages. That's what Henry did with this one. When he retired, his children, Ola and Russell, took over and ran the station until Ola's death in 1996. Its current owner, Mike Dragovich, oversaw the restoration of the station. We leave Mount Olive and head to Staunton. When we come into Staunton, we pass a field and a few buildings with lots of Route 66 memorabilia. This is Henry's Rabbit Ranch. I remember as a child in the 1960s, riding in the back of our family's Country Squire station wagon on the highway and seeing the Snorton Norton humping the please trucks and laughing about them with my brother and my sister. From Staunton, we head down the road until we reach Mitchell. Just past Highway 111 near Mitchell stood the Bel Air Drive-In Theater. Built in the 1950s, it eventually had two screens and could hold up to 700 cars. The drive-in closed in 1987 and was demolished in the mid-1990s, but the sign in all its glory still remained. Unfortunately, it was finally taken down a few years ago. Just past Mitchell, we run into the Luna Cafe. Built in 1924, the Luna Cafe has a colorful history. Legend has it that they ran a gambling operation in the basement of the cafe and a brothel on the top floor. Al Capone was a regular and would drive down Route 66 from Chicago where he would visit with local mobsters. Now it mainly serves locals and the tourists on the Mother Road. From Mitchell we head down Route 66 until we reach the Mississippi River and the magnificent Chain of Rocks Bridge. Most people only get this view of the Chain of Rocks Bridge if they happen to look south as they're zipping over 270. The Chain of Rocks Bridge is nearly a mile long. It rises up from the Illinois side and the first third of it is over Choteau Island. Then it crosses high over the Mississippi and right in the middle it makes a 22 degree turn to the north and continues on to the Missouri side. When it was built in 1929 to ensure that the bridge's pilings were on solid bedrock, they had to change its direction in the middle of the river. It became the main crossing point of the Mississippi River for Route 66 travelers when Bypass 66 was designated over the bridge in 1936. The bridge was closed to auto traffic in 1970 and now it has been restored as a foot and bicycle traffic bridge. It's magnificent to walk across, but just be aware on windy days, when you get to the middle of the river, it can be quite unnerving if you're afraid of heights. I hope you enjoyed that. If so, a thumbs up below would be appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the episodes of Gems and Hidden Histories. Next time we'll be heading into Missouri. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.